Welcome to Q&A, Social Security Disability Today. This program is brought to you by the Reeves Law Firm, representing you and your Social Security and Disability needs. If you have a problem or questions regarding Social Security and Disability, call attorney Anthony Reeves. Here's your host, attorney Anthony Reeves. Okay, I get this question a lot. I know this happens a lot. Sometimes people ask me, why can I get Medicaid now for my SSI, but I have to wait two years for Medicare for my SSDI? And I always tell people, quite bluntly, it's in the regulations. And I know people hear me say that and they're like, really? That's it? Just just like that, huh? I said, unfortunately, the regulations, the Code of Federal Regulations that governs this are very specific. Under those regulations, um, in, the, in the POMS, which we call the Program Operation Man- Manual System, I always get the acronym messed up, but just know this. The criteria and the regulations governing when your insurance coverage begins, it depends on each program. Under SSI, Medicaid is allowed to be basically operates from reinstatement from the date of your disability, excuse me, date of your application. So, or whenever that date of the application is, or if, they, if there was a disability date after that, as long as you're getting SSI, the first day you're eligible to receive that first dollar of SSI, you're eligible to receive Medicaid on that same day. Unfortunately, SSDI set this up very differently. The way they have it set up is that your eligibility to receive benefits, uh, Medicare coverage does not begin until effectively two years after that. 24 months after, now this is a kicker, 24 months after your benefits, um, you started receiving benefits. What do I mean by that? Well, let's pause on the same example that I've given you before. Let's say you applied in January of 2013 and you are found disabled now and your disability began in January of 2012. Well, it's 12 months from that date. I mean, 12, 24 months from the date of your disability back pay. So if your disability benefits started in like June of 2012, when are you eligible for Medicare? June of 2014. And and I always tell people that usually it catches itself up depending on how far back you go. Where it really gets you is if you've got it where your onset date is basically within like the same year when you receive disability benefits. Then that two-year window kind of stinks. So if you're here and you amended your onset date to January of 2014, guess what? You're not going to get Medicare until 2016. It is what it is. I always tell people it stinks. Can't change the nature of the beast. But just be aware of the fact that the programs are very specific that basically allow for the fact that under Medic under SSDI, your Medicare is only, you're only eligible to Medicare effectively 24 months after your first date of benefits received. Now, keep in mind, the first date of benefits is the one going back retroactively, not the one you're getting today, like your monthly benefits going forward. They're looking going backwards to the earliest date of when your benefits began. And like I said, don't try to understand it. It's just the nature of the beast.